Are you curious why everybody's talking about grid bots? Do you just have no idea what a grid bot even is? That was me two weeks ago, but I put in the hours and did the research all so you don't have to. Hello, I'm Brandon. Today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set up your very first grid bot on Bybit. Grid bots and Bybit's automated trading systems aren't difficult to set up, but it never hurts to have somebody show you the process. I'll start by breaking it down and showing you an example. I'll show you the types of grid bots offered on Bybit and explain the differences. Finally, I'll run through the process of setting up each type of bot. So feel free to follow along with me. Let's jump right in. A grid bot is an automated trading system that sets a series of buy and sell orders around a coin's specified price. When the price of your coin hits one of the buy targets, the bot executes a buy order. When the price of your coin hits one of the sell targets, the bot executes a sell order. The grid part of a grid bot is based on there being this series or many buy and sell targets within a specified range. Let's run through an example to help explain it a bit better. All right, so now let's set up our very first spot grid bot. Head to bybit.com and go to the navigation. Under trade or under tools, we can go to trading bot. This is gonna bring up the Bybit trading bot page. And we've got three options, the spot grid bot, the DCA or dollar cost average trading bot, and the futures grid bot. We're gonna focus on the spot grid bot and futures grid bot today. If you scroll down, we also have a leaderboard with daily rankings and seven day rankings for other people's grid bots and their performance. So you can see the different pairs, how long they've been active, how they're performing, and you can actually copy other people's setups as well. This is incredibly useful. So you click on copy and you'll see the pair, the price range, everything's pre-set up. So you don't have to determine these on your own. All you have to choose is the amount you want to invest with. But we want to learn how to set up our own trading bot so that we can eventually wind up on that leaderboard ourselves. So we're going to talk about first spot grid bot. We're going to click create now, and that's going to open up the main page that gives us two options to begin with AI strategy and manual strategy or specifications. This is basically how many of the settings you want to select yourselves with AI strategy. Everything is determined for you except for the pair itself. We can determine that and the total investment amount. So how much we want to set up our grid bot to trade with our price range, number of grids, everything else is predetermined by AI. But we want to know how to set these up ourselves. And if we understand the manual settings, we definitely understand the AI strategy settings. So let's go back to manual and let's just do it with XRP today. So the first thing we need to determine is our price range. This is going to be the upper and lower bounds of our grids. Now, this isn't exactly where our sell target and our buy targets are. These are just the max range of where our grids will be set up. It'll all make a lot more sense in the example in just a moment. But for XRP to USDT, you can actually set up the AI strategy for this as well. So that same AI strategy we were using before, if you want to customize some other things, but you want to bring those numbers in. So based on AI, it gives us a good price range, lower bounds of 39 or 35 and a half cents, upper bounds of 43 cents and 27 grids. So you can get that AI price range and then change the number of grids to say 15 if you want. But we're going to do this ourselves because we're still learning and it's fun to try it yourself. We're going to set our lower bounds to 30 cents because that's right around 10 cents below. And then right around 10 cents above, we're going to set our upper price. So 0 0.50. That gives us a price range of a total of right around 20 cents with 40 in the middle for our market price for XRP. Now we need to choose our number of grids. For this, I'm going to choose four. That gives us or automatically calculates our interval as well as our profit per grid. Imagine our range between these grids. So 30 to 35 cents, 35 cents to 40 cents, 40 cents to 45 cents, 45 cents to 50 cents. There's our profit per grid based on the trades from those jumps. Finally, all we have to choose is our total investment amount. Now, if you don't have money in your spot account, remember this is a spot grid bot. We're going to need money in our spot account. You can actually transfer some over. Let me show you how to do that right now. So we clicked on transfer and we're going to transfer from our unified trading account to our spot or our funding account. We're going to transfer USDT. Let's say we want to transfer over 2000. We're feeling it for this XRP bot. Click confirm and it'll come right over and be ready to trade for our setup. All right, now we've got some funds in our spot account. We can choose our total investment amount for this trading bot for this particular one. So we click on create now. So once we hit confirm, we're gonna use $2,000 to set up a spot grid bot for XRP to USDT with a price range of 
30 cents to 50 cents USDT. There's going to be four grids. You can see our interval here and our profit per grid. We're also going to buy 1500 XRP at the current market price in order to get our strategy started. But before we hit confirm, I want to explain exactly what's going to happen once our bot is up and running. Our spot grid bot is set up for the XRP to USDT pair. The market price is currently 40 cents. The upper bound of our price range is 50 cents and the lower bound is 30 cents. We're using four grids for this one, which sets our price interval to five cents. This is determined by taking our upper bound, 50 cents, subtracting our lower bound, 30 cents, and then dividing by our number of grids. 20 cents is the difference. Four grids spread out evenly gives us a five cent interval per grid. Buy and sell orders can be set at each five cent jump from 30 cents all the way to 50 cents. When we create it, the system will determine how much XRP will need to be purchased to initialize the strategy and buy it at the market price. This makes sure that if XRP travels to 45 cents, right after the grid bot is created, we have some XRP to sell. Now, what happens once the grid bot is created and running? If XRP travels down to 35 cents, a buy order will be executed and sell order will be set at 40 cents. If the price travels to this sell target, the sell order will execute and a new buy order will be placed at 35 cents. Let's say instead XRP travels straight to 45 cents. A sell order will be executed and a buy order will be placed at 35 cents. XRP travels to 50 cents next. A sell order will be executed and a buy order placed at 40 cents. You can see that the grid's buy and sell orders travel along with the price jumps. If the price travels outside of the grid's bounds, so above 50 cents or below 30 cents, no orders will be placed. Now it's time, let's hit confirm and set up this XRP grid bot. It has successfully been created. It's automatically going to redirect us to the My Bots page where we can view our current PL for all of our grid bots. We can click on details and see the specific trades that our grid bot will be making over time. So we can look at our current positions as well as our historical positions. I don't think we have any historical positions right now, We're just buying that market XRP. But we go back here, we can go to our main page. And if we want to terminate our grid bot, we click right here on terminate. It's gonna give us the option to cash out with either USDT, combination of XRP and USDT, just XRP, and just BitDAO. I like USDT because it's just easier for my mind to understand. So it's gonna cash out, we use 2000. Right now we would get back 1999.54. So just a little bit of that conversion to XRP from that buy, we've successfully terminated and we can open up a new grid bot if we'd like. And that's it, you now know how to set up and check on a spot grid bot. Let's go ahead and run through the process of setting up a futures grid bot. But first, what's the difference between a spot grid bot and a futures grid bot? Well, it still sets up orders in a grid around a specified price. But instead of using spot pairs, it uses futures pairs. It also gives your strategy a bit more flexibility and customization. With the futures grid bot, you can trade in both the long and short direction and use leverage. It is a bit more of an intermediate to advanced trading tool, but you can multiply your profit through margin trading. All right, now let's set up a futures grid bot. Go back to the home page and we can click on futures grid bot create now. It's going to be very similar to the spot grid bot. So we've got one more option this time like i tried to explain instead of having just our pair to choose as well as our investment amount we can now choose between the neutral strategy just long strategy and just short strategy the neutral strategy will trade in both directions the long strategy will only trade long so buying low and selling high the short direction will only trade short so it'll profit from whenever Bitcoin moves down if we choose Bitcoin. The neutral direction or the neutral strategy will profit whenever it trades in either direction. So starting from 23,000, if we move higher, we're gonna trade long. And if we move lower, we're gonna trade short so we can get the best of both worlds. Now, again, this is under AI strategy, but we're gonna figure out the manual settings first and we'll have a perfect understanding of the AI strategy settings. So let's go to manual. And now under Bitcoin to USDT, we'll start at 23,000 again, or uh, this time instead of XRP price range, let's start at 19,000 and let's move up to 27,000. 
for our price range. So our lower bound, 19,000, upper bound, 27,000. We can also choose, or choose our AI strategy to automatically fill these in. We're gonna stay on neutral so we can win on both sides of the trade. We're gonna select four grids. And the other thing that we have to choose is our leverage level. Now, this is a pretty big price range, I will admit. Uh, we've got pretty big stretches between 19,000 and 27,000 divided by our four grids. So instead of 10x leverage, I'm going to bring this down to say 5x leverage. That's just going to make me feel a little bit safer in case we see any big price moves. So now we need to choose our investment amount. Let's choose 2,000 again. And all we have to do is click create now. It's going to confirm our options. So we're choosing Bitcoin to USDT. We're using $2,000 for our investment. Our strategy is neutral, so it's going to trade both long and short, or a combination of those, with 5x leverage. Our price range is between 19,000 and 27,000. We've got four grids in between that price range, or four jumps in price in between 19,000 and 27,000. We're gonna click confirm. It's gonna automatically redirect us back to the MyBots page so we can check on it. Now we just have that futures grid bot running. You can see our mark price, our investment amount, our PL is zero because we probably haven't made any trades yet. But we can click on our details and this is where we again can track our current status as well as all of our positions and our historical positions. So it looks like right now we've just got our grid set up between 19,000 and 27,000. So that is how to set up your futures grid bot on Bybit. You've learned how a grid bot works, the different types, how to set each one up, and how to track them. If you have any questions, feel free to check out the Bybit Learn articles via the links in the description. They run through everything we just mentioned and more. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you learned something new. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new tutorials. See y'all next time.